This video is part of a series of tutorials on strength training concepts and is brought to you by Edgerton's Garage Gym. Henneman Size Principle The Henneman Size Principle states that as more force is needed, motor units are recruited in a precise order with small motor units being recruited first and large motor units being recruited last. As small motor units tend to be associated with type 1 muscle fibres and large motor units tend to be associated with type 2 muscle fibres, the size principle has led to a commonly held belief that maximal or at least near maximal weights are necessary in order to maximise the recruitment of type 2 muscle fibres. It's certainly true that maximum strength training can be a viable option for maximising motor unit recruitment. However, it may not be the only option since force equals mass times acceleration. And so, if we were to use slightly lighter loads but attempt to accelerate those lighter loads maximally, uh, this may well also result in high levels of motor unit recruitment and the recruitment of type 2A and type 2X muscle fibres. It's also worth noting that in sets taken to failure, as fatigue increases throughout the set, motor unit recruitment will also increase. We should also note that the size principle does not apply when electrical muscle stimulation is used. For a long time, the evidence had suggested that electrical muscle stimulation results in a reversal of the Henneman size principle. However, more recent research suggests that electrical muscle stimulation induced motor unit recruitment is non-selective and muscle fibers are recruited without sequencing related to muscle fiber types. If you found the information in this tutorial useful, please like the video. And for more information on sports science and strength and conditioning, please subscribe to Edgerton's Garage Gym.